Hey, what's going on you guys? And in today's video, I wanted to talk about how we are not free. And by that, I don't mean like metaphorically. I mean like actually, like American citizens are not free. And it really bothers me because we say we're free when we're not free. Okay, well, what's the, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, Simka? Of course we're free. We're free to vote. Right, we're free to get whatever jobs we want. We're free to, uh, you know, buy vehicles. We're free to do what you know, live wherever we want. Okay, but I'm not talking about that type of freedom. I'm talking about basic, fundamental, candid freedom that was given to the colonists when they broke away from Great Britain. Well, I'm talking about freedom that's integral to the human being. Let me explain. Let's say you wanted to do the most basic human function. You want to live. All you want to do is you want to live. And by live, I mean live inside something, right? I would say one of the most basic human functions is to eat and to have shelter. So let's say you wanted to create a shelter. Let's say a tent. Let's take this back to, let's take it all the way, all the way down to caveman terms. You want to pitch yourself a tent in the public space because that's what you chose to do with your freedom. Well, guess what? You In America, you can't do that. You can't just pitch your tent anywhere. And usually, the places that you can pitch a tent, they're going to charge you. If you can pitch a tent there. Okay. Now, you can't pitch a tent in Target parking lot. You can't pitch a tent in the AMC theater. You can't pitch a tent in the Baltimore, uh, in the, uh, in the Pikesville library. Right? In the public library. You can't pitch a tent anywhere. Right? And you certainly can't pitch a tent in the bowling alley or the zoo. Because all those are either private places or owned by somebody or the police will be there within a few short hours to tell you to pack your crap and leave. As a matter of fact, where I live in Baltimore, there's a great amount of homeless people who can't seem to find where to pitch their tent alongside of I-83, which is one of the major highways leading to the, well, the main roads leading to the inner city. So you got all these people, usually they're black people, and they're uh, camped alongside some of the bridges on the inner loop and the outer loop. And because they got nowhere to go. And then just recently, they put up a fence, even barring them from pitching the tents there. Now, I don't appreciate watching homeless people just as much as the next guy. I actually happen to hate it. But just the fact that they have nowhere to go because they put up that fence there. And then the next thing you know, they have nowhere, they have nowhere to pitch their tent. You see what I mean? That's a fundamental freedom that these people don't have. Now, whether they made bad decisions in life or not, I mean, that's a case-by-case -case basis. But that means that that's neither here nor there. The important thing is their fundamental freedom was taken away from them. And this is not a, a rant about Black Lives Matter. This is more of a, uh, a situation about freedom matters. There is no freedom in this world, or rather in this country. What, let's say let's explore this further. Let's say I want to so much as go ahead and sell a case of water bottles on the street, right? So we've covered the subject of the basic human need and function of shelter. Now let's move on to food. Let's say you want to sell, um, you know, a whole packet of water bottles for a dollar a piece. So you go around selling it for a dollar. But guess what? If you try that too much, you're going to get stopped by the police. The police gonna they're going to stop you and they're going to tell you to get off the uh, get off the street or they're going to cart you away. They're going to give you a fine. And the reason for that is because you don't have the proper permits or licensing, right? So you can't even sell water bottles without and, – and those permits and licensing have to be approved by the state or by the city that you're in. So you can't even so much as sell Powerade on the street corner. You know those kids who uh, sell lemonade for a quarter. You know, you know if you ever seen, um, you know, uh, in the cartoons. Well, guess what? That is a hundred percent illegal. You can't do that here in America, All right? If you want to go ahead, let's say I own a vehicle, right? I have actually owned several vehicles. Well, let's say I want to take my vehicle out 
in the off-road. I want it to go off-road. That's actually what my trucks advertise. This truck has 4x4. Four four. It has off-roading ability and has off-road tires. Well, guess what? If you're in the wrong area or the wrong state or the wrong city, you can't go off-roading because it's illegal. And you will very, very quickly get a hefty fine as well as possibly even arrested if you don't comply. Now, that's no freedom to me. Let me give you another example about how we have no freedom. Okay, let's say I own a house, right, which I do, right, and I want to go ahead and I want to erect a structure on top of said house, right? If that structure exceeds the zoning permits for my area, I cannot build it. Now, let's think about that for a second. I own the house, and yet I can't build on my own house. I have to go buy a, by the way, a mandatory, mandatory zoning appeal to build a structure on my house if it exceeds the limitations of my zone. Does that even make any sense? How free is it? It's not free at all. This whole society is, we've been groomed and, and, and confounded, confined into living into our own little box, it seems to me. And, you know, the government seems to just be forever more imposing and forever more, uh, just forever more creating more and more red tape, more rules, more laws that we have to abide by. Take the most powerful thing any average citizen can do, which is driving a car, right? With a car, you can drive into a crowd of people. You can kill a whole lot of people. You can go ahead. You can you know, slam it into a building. You can do a lot of different things with a car. That can cause a lot of damage, right? I'm not saying anybody should do that. God forbid. But that would be accessible to the very average person. And right there, the government comes ahead and they say, you can, you know, they, they put all kinds of sanctions on what you can do with a car. You have to have an inspection fee. You have to have mandatory insurance. They tell you where to drive. They tell you what time to drive. They tell you how fast to drive. They tell you what directions to drive. They tell you when to stop. They tell you when to go. Right? Coincidence? I think not. I don't think this country is free, nearly as free as people say that it is. And it's just, I wish we can get back to real freedom. Like, where we can actually do whatever we want, unless it bothers somebody else. Unless it hurts somebody else, we can do whatever the heck we want to do. And it's a total free-for-all with very, very limited rules. Not that it's a total free-for-all, but with very, very limited rules. And, and see where that goes. You know, obviously, you're still not allowed to loot and steal and, you know, uh, stab people and do all these terrible crimes. Crimes are still illegal, but at the same time, you know, everybody's allowed to do what they want. That's, that's my vision.